Hello my nail lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Today I am doing a review, I guess you could say, on this month's Sparkle & Co. sub bag. So in this month's sub bag, the special item is this gorgeous sequin bag. It's actually really pretty and it's humongous. <laughs> it's this pretty gold color and if you push on the sequins in the opposite direction, they turn silver. I was trying to show you the inside of the bag. It was already unzipped. Goof on me. <laughs> Showing you the inside here and the Sparkling Co. logo on the inside. This bag is beautiful and it really is so big. I really like it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. So now we're going to get into the good stuff. So in this bag, we have this Pravita bracelets um, coupon code. The bigger bags came with these Pravita bracelets. I only get the $30 bag, so mine did not come with this, but if you're interested, that 25% code is there. This is the subscription information card that they send. In a second, I'm gonna shut my ring light off so you can see that a little better. There you go. If you, need to, if you need to screenshot this, go right on ahead. It's got the referral program information and all that good stuff. And now, all these little decal things they send, this little heart and the little safari and the little giraffe that they send were so cute. I love these so much. Look at the little giraffe, guys. I love it so much. And then we got this little crazy gold stuff, the hunt, for the perfect Safari Manny is on, is the sticker this month. Cute, cute. So I'm going to get into showing you guys the liquid of the month and the colors. So the liquid of the month this month is Solidify, which is Activator, for those of you who may not know. So Solidify, which is great because I did not have one, so that's wonderful. And then the colors that came in this month's bag are gorgeous. I tried to use all three of them. I don't know how I feel about the Manny. It's cute, but it, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone. So this first color is another sunset photo, SB121. This color is stunning, you guys. I could do a whole Manny in just this color. I love it so much. The next color is ferociously fierce sb 119 it's this gold glitter with these little black flakes inside it's really really pretty and super super messy it got glitter everywhere as soon as i took it out of the bag and i dropped it <laughs> the next color the last but certainly not least is goddess of the grasslands sb 120 I'm not usually a green person, you guys, but this green is really, really pretty. And I was super scared that it was going to make me look like, as Marla Chris would say, a dirty alien. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't make me look like a dirty alien. So I'm going to be using all three of these colors and it, that's really pushing me out of my comfort zone. This is my very first three color Manny, you guys. So please forgive me. <laughs> Um, I'm using my Sparkling Co. liquids. I'm going to go in with Goddess of the Grasslands first. I'm going to let you guys watch me apply this and I will be back. Actually, no, I lied. I want to talk for another second. I know, I blab a lot. It's okay. You guys love me, right? You love it when I talk your ears off. <laughs> I was just showing you there that I do have Oont Peel Off base coat on and I wanted to come back and say that this is my first time ever using sparkling co-liquids. So this is definitely a first time for me. And also, this is going to be a dip manicure with my non-dominant hand. So this is a special video. It is a little bit longer than my normal videos. So if you want to skip ahead to any certain parts, feel free, I will not be upset, I promise. It is long, I know, but I'm working with my non-dominant hand and the key to working with your non-dominant hand is to go slow. So I do go a little bit slower with this 
and I do keep this first finger in real time for you guys. I will speed it up a little bit after that because otherwise we'd be here all day long and I don't want to take up too much of your time. So like I said, this is a little bit longer of a video. I include the application, I include a little bit of filing, and I also do a little bit of glitter ombre. And also, this is my very first time doing a glitter ombre. I've done ombre with solid colors, but never glitter. So please guys, be patient with me. And again, if you need to skip forward to anything, that's perfectly okay. I'm gonna be applying this Goddess of the Grasslands color to my pointer, middle, and ring finger. And as I promised, I'm going to let you guys watch me apply this and I shall be back. Popping in back quick because I'm showing you here that I did get some green on my brush and I did mean to wipe it off before I went back into the bottle. So I wanted to say that if you are using a color that is getting that color onto your base brush, you should absolutely wipe in between dips before returning to the bottle. Because if that color gets into your bottle, it's going to contaminate it and then your bottle will be no good and nobody wants that. I do not always wipe before returning to the bottle when using my base coat. It depends on the color I am using. Some people will tell you that you should always wipe in between dips before returning to the bottle, but uh, that's just personal preference. I don't always do that, but with a darker color that is staining my brush, I absolutely will do that. So I do recommend wiping your brush in between dips before returning to the bottle if you are using a color that is staining your brush. I just wanted to pop in and say that. Also, well, real quick while I have you, I want to remind you that I have a Facebook group, Totally Kayla's Nail Lovelies. Go ahead on over and join, I'd love to have you. And also want to remind you, my 200 subscriber giveaway, you guys, we are so close. So, so close. Hit that subscribe button if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet. Because this giveaway, you guys, it's epic. It's a good one. You want to be a part of this, I promise. So hit that subscribe button, you guys. 200 subscribers. We are so close and I'm doing an awesome giveaway for you. Totally amazing and wonderful, wonderful people. I love you guys.
Okay, lovelies. So I wanted to pop back in and tell you why you see me dipping the same nail back into the clear like 50,000 times. <laughs> so sometimes when you put on a clear, you will see it absorb the clear really quickly. You'll see the base absorb the clear really quickly and then it'll look like almost dry. You see it happening here, I'm pointing to it. So I just dip again to make sure that that clear dip powder is on top of my color. I would be so sad if I filed my color away. I do use a stiff brush to make sure I get everything off. And yeah, I'm gonna be going in next with Ferociously Fierce. And that's gonna be going on my pinky. I do do two dips of that. And then I also clear encapsulate I'm going to activate these three nails first because I don't want any of the beautiful glitters all up in my flat colors. So I will let you get back to watching me apply this and again I will be back. Alrighty, I'm back. I'm going in with my Tomika glitter base because I really do not want to ruin my Sparkle Co base with this crazy glitter. It is beautiful, but it is crazy. I would have gotten so much glitter in my brand new Sparkle Co base. I would have probably cried, y'all. I would, probably would have cried. Not even gonna lie. I would have cried. <laughs> I'm just taking my finger and patting down the edges just a little bit. I'm dipping my finger into the powder and then pressing down. And as you can see there, it looks gorgeous. This color, I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do, but guys, I love it. It's beautiful. Those little black spots was what made me think I wasn't going to love it as much as I do, but I do. And now I'm just kind of tapping my base bond around just a little bit because I wanted to get a few more of those little black pieces on there. And I did get a couple more and I was happy with that. So once I'm done with this, you will see me clear encapsulate it and activate. And yeah, I don't want to talk too much throughout this video, guys. I know it's long, so I don't want to make it even worse by yapping your ears off the whole time. <laughs> So I will be back again when I have more to say. Oh, actually, sorry. After this one, I'm gonna be going in with another sunset photo on my thumb. And then after that, we will be going into some filing and whatnot. And after that, we'll get into that ombre I was talking about. Don't think I've forgotten. Using my pipette too, by the way, because I don't want to get a ton of that glitter into my clear base. And I am using my super nail clear base this time because it was closest and it does work good. So I don't mind it. So I will let you guys finish up watching me clear encapsulate this nail, activating this nail, and then applying another sunset photo to my thumb, which spoiler, 
is freaking gorgeous. Like I said, I could do a whole mani with that color and be perfectly happy. <laughs> I'm leaving for real this time, guys. Keep watching my application, and again, I'll be back. Okay, babes, popping back in because I did want to let you know that on both of the glitter nails, I did go end up, I did go end up, wowzers, <laughs> I did end up going in with <laughs> two layers of clear dip powder on top because they are pretty chunky and I wanted to make sure they were smooth. They may look a little bit um, thick right now, but after filing and buffing, they will be perfectly fine, I promise. So, I'm going to activate these nails. 
And when I'm done activating, I'm going to get into a little bit of filing. I'm gonna do a little bit with my hand file and my e-file on camera for you guys, mainly because this is a non-dominant hand video and I did want you guys to see how I use my e-file using my non-dominant hand. It is very important that you're comfortable with this before you go in with an e-file using your non-dominant hand because it can be dangerous and make sure that you're using bits you're comfortable with that are gentle, especially if you're a beginner. If you're a pro, you're good, you got this girl, just ignore me. But if you're a beginner, please make sure you're comfortable doing this before you do it and use gentle bits that you're comfortable with. Please, I beg of you. So, here we are, as I promised. I did file and buff the Actually, no, I didn't buff yet. I filed and e-filed every finger except for my pointer finger. So I'm gonna go in with my hand file. I'm going to use the 100 grit side. This is a 100, 180 grit file. The back side is 100 grit. So I am going to go in with the 100 grit side and I'm just going to clean up those edges a little bit. And again, I'm keeping this finger in real time for you. So that way you can see I am not moving fast. I'm going extremely slow. Well, with the hand file, it looks like I'm going fast, but I, I'm not. I'm, I'm going pretty slowly, making sure I'm good. Here on the side, you see there is an F and an R. F is for forward, R is for reverse. If you are using your left hand, you are going to want that in reverse. Also, my next tip is while e-filing with your non-dominant hand, keep it at a low speed. I literally keep it at about seven and that's more than enough for me. I'd rather not tear up my cuticles. So I'm going to go around the cuticle first, but I'm showing you how I support my hands. I kind of put my wrist together and then I use both hands to support each other to ensure that neither hand is moving and that e-file is going to get away from me. Don't want that. So I went around the cuticle very slowly and I hold my e-file just like this, all awkward like with my non-dominant hand because for me, I feel like I have more control. Sorry, I skipped out there for a second. My animals were not behaving. <laughs> so like I was saying, I hold my e-file like this and it allows me to just go up and down the nail the way I like to smooth it out and I, I got a good grip on my e-file when I do it like this. When I go around the cuticle, I can't hold it like this, but when I'm going straight up and down to just smooth everything out, I absolutely hold it like this because it's comfortable for me. This portion, I do have sped up a little bit, not much, just a little. So it does look like I'm going a little bit faster than I am, but you can see I go very gently around that cuticle area. I do not go fast. I do not speed through it. I do not try to rush through that part of filing with my e-file because it can turn out very badly. And we absolutely do not want that. So as I finish up e-filing here, you guys can finish watching this. I want to let you know that I do really like the Sparkle & Co liquids. I enjoyed them very much. The base coat was nice and thin. It was easy to work with. These powders were easy to work with. Even the chunky glitters were easy to work with, which I definitely appreciate. Um, filing them was very easy. I didn't have to do very much. And now they are all done. So, I'm going to go ahead and buff off camera. And while I was buffing off camera, I cut my thumb cuticle. It hurt like a biatch. It made me want to cry because I haven't cut my cuticles in a while, let alone with a buffing block. <laughs> so I want to urge you guys to please be careful while buffing. I will show you in a minute that cut that I got on my thumbnail. And I promise it'll make you want to cry too. <laughs> So right now I am going in with that ombre I was talking about. 
I know I already filed shaped and buffed and I already did my clear cap and all that good stuff but I only wanted a little bit of that glitter ombre there and what I was thinking was I could just get a little bit going on put clear on the very end it would be smooth enough I could just buff real quick and then top coat and it would be good and it did end up working out that I was able to do exactly that so I was very happy and like I mentioned this is my very first time ever going in with a glitter ombre so please guys don't judge me <laughs> please don't judge me I didn't know what the heck I was doing I was just trying to make this work I'm sorry I was out of frame for a second there so like I was saying I just put some glitter on that top part and then I put uh, clear on the rest so that way it wasn't weirdly lumpy and uneven and I was happy with that it worked out well I ended up clear capping it off camera because I did end up wanting to go over the whole thing with clear dip powder so that was fine as you can see it's not too rough I don't end up filing again I just buff over it and it's totally fine so I applied the base I went in with a little bit of glitter to get that ombre and then I did clear cap that I didn't think I was going to need to but I did end up doing it so it's okay you live and you learn right so on my pointer finger I went in with another sunset photo because my thumb is another sunset photo now on my ring finger I'm going to go in with ferociously fierce and I'm going to ombre that down the nail because my pinky is ferociously fierce so I thought it would be cute to do a little bit of both of those glitters as an ombre uh, like I said I wasn't really sure how much I loved this Manny it is cute it's just really out of my comfort zone for starters the green and I've never done a glitter ombre before so it was all very new to me I did like the final outcome so I was happy with that but yeah I just kind of wanted to mention that here I am going in with a little bit more of my glitter base because it kind of dried a bit on the edges before I could get that glitter on the sides near the sidewalls. So I did end up doing that and on, I was happy with that by the end of it. So I end up clear capping that and then I activate and I just buff them and they're totally good and I was happy with that. So you can see on my thumb, I literally cut the whole cuticle with my buffing block you guys saw my cuticle while I was e-filing it was fine <laughs> there was no cuts there so it's kind of crazy how I make it through e-filing no cuts on my cuticles I use a buffer and what do I do tear up my cuticle I'm quite sad about it because it hurts it still hurts um, so please guys just be careful when you're using your buffing blocks because those two can cause injuries to your cuticles please learn from my mistakes please 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 learn from my mistakes because this could possibly help you in the future when you're going around that cuticle era with your buffing block you'll know to be gentle there and to not go too fast be careful pay attention to what you're doing and look at my cuticle my poor baby cuticle mm, look at it it's so bad I do get a close-up and point it out to you guys in a couple of minutes you'll see it um, I'm applying a base coat now because I am finished and I do I, sometimes I apply a base coat before my gel top coat sometimes I don't I don't know it depends on my mood but because I did buff I wanted to apply that base coat on there to ensure that my gel would hold up and that's the only reason I did it um, what was I gonna say guys oh yeah so I didn't base coat my one solid green nail because I was debating on doing it matte and sometimes I wish I could just call you guys and be like hey check out this Manny should I do this one finger matte or should I do it glossy with the rest I end up doing it glossy even though I look at it here and it looks kind of cute matte but I didn't end up doing it matte I ended up doing it glossy anyways so whatever I can do matte again in the future at some point I haven't done a lot of matte manis but I do really like the way it looks and I almost did that one green nail matte but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it so I kind of wanted that shimmer to show off 
and if it was doing it matte, it wouldn't show off as much. So I did end up going in and making it glossy. I hope you guys don't hate me for it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below though. Do you like it better matte or did you like it glossy? Here I'm showing you my cuticle, guys. Cry with me. It's so bad. <laughs> I was so upset. It hurt so much. As soon as I went over that cuticle with my buffer, I literally just dropped my buffer and looked at my cuticle and I was like, no, my poor cuticle. I haven't damaged my cuticles like that from any type of filing or buffing in so long. Sometimes I get hangnails and I pick at them. Guys, don't pick at your hangnails. It will leave you a scab and it will not be fun. I promise you, don't pick your hangnails. My hangnails are getting a lot better now because I haven't been going as crazy with nipping my cuticles, which has been a huge help. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting better with the hangnails and no more cuts, but yeah, it was, it was a little bit depressing when I hurt my thumb cuticle. So guys, please, I know I've said it like 10 times, but please be careful with your buffers. Please, please, please. I would be so sad if any of you ever told me you hurt yourselves with your buffer. Seriously, I'd be sad. So look at my nails here, guys. Do you like that nail mat? Please, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. I, I wish I could have asked you guys. Look at the mess I just made. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I just dropped my whole base bottle. Honestly, guys, I forgot I had the cap unscrewed, so I just like picked it up and it fell everywhere. Yeah, don't do that either. Do as I say, not as I do, please. So tell me in the comments, please. I want to know, do you like that nail mat? I want to know what you guys think. I want to know your opinions. I want to know. I need to. So here you see me going in with a base. I'm still undecided at this point if I want to do matte or a regular glossy top. And in a second, you'll see I decide to go in with a regular glossy top. Yeah. Look at these sparkles, you guys. Look at the shine. I love my eye gel beauty top coat. You guys, it literally brings every single Manny to life. And I love it so, so, so much. So I cured that base coat for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to go in and top coat with my eye gel beauty no cleanse top coat. It is my current favorite. What are you guys' favorite, top, favorite gel top coats? I wanna hear in the, in the comment section, please. Tell me what your favorite gel top coat is. I, I'd love to try it. So I'm just capping my edges. I'm trying not to cap them as good because I've been having a hard time getting my dip powder off of my extension because the way I cap my edges is a little too good, apparently. <laughs> so just trying not to cap it as good and look at that Manny, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I actually really like the way it came out. I, I do. It, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone a lot. And uh, I don't know. I wasn't 100% sold on it, but I do think it came out cute. I was proud of my ombre and I was proud of myself for going in with three colors. So as always, I'm finishing this up with my cuticle candy from Candy Skincare. I'm going in with Hot Mess Marla. And the proceeds of this go to the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast. Yes, I got it right this time, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm such a goofball. I know. You guys love it, though, right? Let me know below. Do you love my goofy attitude? Just let me know. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys think of this Manny. Did you think it came out cute? Because I wasn't 100% sure. I, I, I'm still not 100% sure. I'm proud of it, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe below, comment, like. I love you guys. Bye.